hidden gun turrets from World War II. This is pretty unusual. A bunch of Ben Strauss as a sculpture spitting out water. That's pretty weird. A hotel for cats. That's unusual. A down library the size of one book. That's pretty unusual. I'm Dave, I'm Matthew and today we've got something else that's pretty unusual looking as well. It's the Toyota CHR, the all new facelifted model with a diamond theme going. That's right, it's a crossover SUV that's funky looking, creative looking and fun to drive. Let's take a closer look. Toyota launched the CHR back in 2016, which is not that long ago. It's already had a few upgrades, few changes, but now this one is the diamond themed facelift. And let's take a closer look around. This is the hybrid model and the limited, so the top of the range. And it's also two-tone, which comes in this one, black roof and emotional red. Don't know what that means, but it looks nice. It looks nice and it's got a nice color about it. Up front, a honeycomb grill and so much activity. So, you know, lots going on around here. LED headlights, it's got the blue badge, which basically shows you there's a hybrid. Even the integrated uh, fog lights here and uh, DRLs, all going well around here. Around the side, the drama continues. Look, extended uh, wheel arches all the way here, front and rear. 18 inch feet, <laughs> I really like this. The door sills come up to meet the shoulder line. I mean, it's kind of, skirt meets skirt meets shoulder i don't know there must be something in there but it looks really almost hourglass look up here <laughs> look at these door handles nice and high unusual not really warranted but just another de design quirk the glass here tapers in does give a bit of a blind spot which we'll talk about later but and also for the people inside does reduce visibility slightly but overall I really like the design. Round the rear again really busy yeah. it's got a roofline spoiler, tail spoiler, integrated LED tail lights and look at all this it's just so much drama around here so busy so active so I don't know Salvador Dali like. Down here reverse light and manual tailgate. Plenty of room inside. Look at these little diamonds, which I'll show you in a minute. And under here, a 16 inch space saver tire. So you are going to be a little bit lopsided if you do have a puncture. Let's take a look under the bonnet. A 1.8 litre hybrid powertrain strapped to a CBT gearbox. It offers a total of 90 kilowatts of power, 142 newton meters of torque. It gives out 97 grams per kilogram of emissions and actually runs frugally on 4.3 liters per 100 k's so not bad combined. So a little diamond of a powertrain but most of the diamonds are on the inside and let's let our little diamond Matthew show you around there. As Dave just showed you with the exterior it's pretty dramatic and it's pretty makes a good statement and it's pretty much the same in the interior if you take a look at this dashboard there's a lot of different shapes going on here there's a lot of different textures you get this bit of soft plastic you get piano black plastic running through there and then there's a satinized sort of rose goldish color plastic if you like there along with this there's a brownish leather texture textured surface over here and then there's more plastic on the other side of it so there's a whole bunch of layers here which is pretty cool and this center console here again kind of geared towards the driver it's a little bit of a driver focused car and there's heaps of piano black plastic going on here the top of the gear knob has a satinized metal finish there's a little bit of leather there you get two cup holders here and soft plastic cubby over here it's pretty deep and there's a charging port inside as well it 
it is the hybrid model the sort of one of the top specs that you can get which means that you do get full leather seats actually really soft as well that's a great touch and they're both bolstered the driver's one is adjustable as well and remember that diamond pattern that we talked about either let's start talking about that because there's diamond patterns in the seat here as you can see there are diamond patterns here in the lights in the top and there's actually diamonds embossed into the roof over here these buttons for the air conditioning are also arranged in a diamond sort of shape over here you do get heated seats by the way automatic climate control all that sort of good stuff you also get diamond patterns in the side over here on the top and on the bottom and they're actually textured so feels quite nice to run your hand along there heaps of storage space around the car as well you get big door pockets down there two big cup holders here there's actually a little hidden space for your phone down there which you can't see over here but should be enough to hold a decent sized phone you know there is actually a glove box here even though you can't really see it you've got to reach down here and as soon as you pop that in it's a decent sized glove box there it's got Toyota's new infotainment screen over there and even though it may look like it's been placed on the dashboard there because of this different textured look to it it doesn't actually look look too out of place there it's as ever easy to use and the screen's bright all the text is really clear you can use these buttons along to help you navigate or you can just use your finger because it is a touch screen after all if you take a look at the instruments over there it's actually got traditional analog instruments which i think are really cool on the left like a typical toyota hybrid it has your power gauge so it'll tell you when you're charging the batteries when you're running on eco mode with the hybrid system or when you go for a bit of power on the right you've got the speedometer you've got fuel temperature gauge and you've got a little screen in the middle there which will tell you you know your doors are open what kind of mileage you're doing whether the battery is charging all that sort of stuff it is a practical family crossover so let's hop in the back and take a look at the space behind there in the back over here as you can see the chr has a bit of a tapered look but there's actually a lot of space here i'm a pretty tall human being i'd say and i've got a lot of headroom here surprisingly there's this seat is almost fully back in fact i think it is actually fully back so i've got a lot of knee room plenty of foot room down there you could easily get three adults in the back here and the rear bench is really soft which is a nice touch you get a large bottle holder in the door actually and there's another little cubby there probably for your phone as dave pointed out earlier this is a bit of an issue i guess you could say where the roof line tapers down here and so does the door line so you don't get that much light coming in for the rear passenger and especially if you're a child you'd probably not be able to look out of the window but apart from that there's a lot of space in the back here and continuing actually with the diamond theme there's diamond patterns over here in the door door panel and there's actually diamonds down there in the in the foot rails anyway enough with the space in the cabin here it's nice but it's a sort of sporty crossover. So let's take a look at how it drives. Nowadays people go to no end of lengths to try to stand out from the crowd. Tattoos, changing their hair colour, the list goes on. But what if you're a crossover SUV? I mean it's a really busy market out there. How do you do it? Well Toyota have come up with the idea of making their CHR just really dramatic, really different really unusual and this is the result they're facelifted diamond um, diamond themed CHR crossover it's quite remarkable I mean as you're driving down the road you get people looking at you and like is that a Toyota because it really does look pretty funky and it's really out there in terms of its styling and it does get glances but in in a nice sort of way and Toyota know that the advertising campaigns say that you know I'm not for everyone the platform that this car sits on, or sorry, this SUV, crossover SUV sits on, is a tried and tested um, frame and it feels nice on the road. We're on a very, very, well, I think quite an uncomfortable dirt road in, this, in the countryside of Auckland. And we should be shaken, we should, this should be noisy, it should be nasty almost. But it's, it's really quite pleasant. I mean, there are, it's a really rough gravel road as Dave said but 
you can't hear any of that coming through the cabin firstly and the suspension is just soaking it all up it's just really comfortable actually the amount of stuff that Toyota have thrown at this is great as standard it comes with the Toyota safety sense so it's got uh, adaptive cruise control blind spot awareness um, autonomous emergency braking it's got all of the stuff to keep you safe also there's a little bit of fun about it the 1.8 liter engine is peppy enough you know within reason it's the hybrid okay the CVT could be a little bit more sporty a little bit more aggressive but you know those are the joys you get with the CVT but it's it's a fun little drive it's a, it, it holds holds the road nicely sits well it's it's you know it's nice to drive and it is I guess just fun in general there's those diamond themes around the different color layouts the different finishes as well on the plastics it's it's just really sort of entertaining I guess if you like everywhere you look on the outside on the inside there's a bit of drama going around there's a bit of different shapes different colors different textures all that sort of stuff I guess as we like to say the elephant in the room is the lack of I guess view from the back not so much of an issue if you're driving or up front but having small children or anything like that we've got one back there and uh, or I've got one there I've got one back there <laughs> and uh, you know it, there is a few complaints about that and I think that could possibly give a little bit of travel sickness if you're going on a long run but on the whole it's it's a really tidy car to look around and boy does it sip fuel <laughs> I mean four liters or just over four liters per hundred k's is is remarkable it sure is and it's something that Toyota have you know tried and tested and they've really mastered that because they've got hybrid configurations in the RAV4 in the Corolla in the Camry and of course in all the Lexus cars and now it's here in the CHR and it's a platform that's been around for a long time and sorry I forgot the Prius of course the the pioneer of their hybrid technology can we forget the Prius <laughs> it's it just works so well by now and we know it it's it's a familiar technology you don't really have to go too far from the steering wheel to get everything from uh, screen control uh, music control uh, active lane control it's all just here within thumb reach and you know it, it's quite busy but again it's just giving you that ease of drive and there's actually speaking of music control there's actually eight speakers around which sounds pretty nice in this sort of oddly shaped cabin if you like so there you have it Toyota's crossover SUV the CHR it's been facelifted it's been diamond themed and actually it's been improved in virtually every dimension it's a really interesting cool car and it's quirky but in a nice sort of way it's in a nice familiar Toyota sort of way but it's been reinvented a little bit I think quirky sums it up really well <laughs> thanks for watching it's been a pleasure having you along make sure you subscribe I know we're a little bit quirky but we're a little bit funny too funny <laughs> see you next time